Hey everybody, it's Tia at B5 Designs. Welcome to my channel. I came on to share a little haul video. I received a couple things that I purchased from KG Crafts on Instagram, Chris Christina, and there is her contact information. I love buying from Christina. She has such good, good customer service, good prices. Um, yeah, so I love buying from her, but I picked up these I love these little stamps from Lawn Fawn and this one is I believe it's called let's look at it little fireflies they're so cute and then I got the matching um die set which says coordinates with little fireflies and I said like I said it's a small haul and I picked up I picked up the um album or the album the small scrapbooking pad paper pad for this kit from her the let's get crafty um bits and pieces and i don't know why i didn't pick up the other stuff i guess i was thinking of what i would use or not use but um i want to make some memory decks cards is what my plan is so i went ahead and grabbed these as well and it's the let's get crafty bits and pieces and that's it. That's all that I got. So I have like, I don't know, a million things planned to do. Um, I have a couple of projects in process right now. Um, so my desk is kind of crammed and messy, but let me get on with um, Dollar Tree. So I picked these up. My boys, my mom used to always make zucchini bread for my boys or for each of the uh the families um but i mean like my brother's family my sister's family and my family and so they like it when i do it as well because of course my mom has since passed away but i wanted to do zucchini muffins and i thought i'd do a cream cheese frosting so i thought it would be cute to have some of these so, and I make other stuff too, but, um, I picked up this set. I don't know if you can really see. That's got the little truck. This one has just the little pumpkins. That's so cute. Love it. And then this one is just fall. I love, I do enjoy baking quite a bit. So, let me, let me just, my desk is a mess if I didn't already say that. And I still have some stuff out that I purchased last week. <sighs> I was able to get a hold of a couple of these stems. I thought they were really pretty. I don't generally decorate anymore for Halloween, and if I do, it's like cutesy stuff. I got the black one, and then I did pick up, they had the felt ones, and I do, I think I have some of those. Nope. They're different ones. Yeah, no, I do have some. But the felt ones that I seen at this store were, um, like, coming apart at the seams, I guess, in the bottoms. But these, I got two of these. It's just pumpkin stems. And then I got to get my fall centerpieces ready to go. And then I got one stem of this color and one stem of this color. So, I need to spend some time getting my tiered tray going. Um, I picked up, I haven't gotten my sewing machine going again. I think I talked about that, that I'm really intimidated by threading it and doing the bobbin. But I do want to get some of those tissue paper things made and sent out to somebody. And uh, so, I need to do that. And every weekend I'm like, this is the weekend I'm going to do it. And then I don't. <sighs> Two days off sometimes isn't enough. Um, I'm really picky about my stickers because I have gotten rid of so many stickers from Dollar Tree. Um, but I did pick up these and I'm going to use them in this new type of jump, junk journal that I'm making. And I picked up these. I do like those. I picked this up because I thought it was just cute. Since I'm a grandma, almost times three, uh, my 
son and daughter-in-law that are expecting the baby boy. She is due September 30th, but she's having some little pregnancy issues. So they're going to go ahead and induce her on the 8th. So that's very exciting. And then my granddaughter is due the 30th, but my daughter-in-law went to the doctor yesterday and she's already dilated to a three, but they said that it, she could stay that way for quite a while. So, but I think she's going to have a, a quick, good, quick delivery. But I also think she's going to have a baby that's a little bit on the, it, she's going to be at least seven pounds. Um, anyway, I picked up this rub on. I thought that was super cute. And I just thought these were cute. They're kind of like the glass. What do you call that? I don't know. You guys know what I'm talking about. So those are super cute. Oh my gosh. I love these. Look at how adorable. I don't need stickers, you guys. But sometimes I really try hard when I go into Dollar Tree to not buy a lot of the stuff. Because like I said, I've been... I have pretty much gone through everything that I'm going to go through in my craft room as far as um, purging. And now it's just getting a very small amount of stuff put away. And then I'm going to do um, a video craft room tour, which I was had hoped to have done that by now. These are rub-ons that I thought were really cute. But I got sick, started a new job, got sick with a really bad sinus and ear infection. So, anyway, I spent part of my two weeks off not feeling good. Um, I got these for in my junk journal. I did pick up this. I can't remember what I picked it up for, but I know I saw a craft that someone did. So, I thought that would be cool. I picked up one of these. These are the peel and stick tile decals, but I will use it probably in my junk journal. A lot of what I'm buying now is for my junk journals. I did finally snag the strawberry um, folder, which I wanted really bad for stuff at work. Um, now I'm into these composition notebook junk journals, so I went ahead and picked up a couple more. These have the vinyl... Um, covers, which I thought would last longer, although it will be covered with scrap paper, but I picked up, and the colors didn't really matter, just other than these are the colors I like, because they're going to get covered. Um, so I picked up a gray and a lilac, and then Crafty Girl, which I've talked about before, showed when she went to, oh, wait, that's Dollar Tree. Oh, I want to show you these two that I got at Dollar Tree. Um, normally I don't purchase cards, but these are going to be used in my junk journal. And I don't know if I'll use the insides or not. I will use the envelopes. And I got this one because it's glittery. And I thought if I want to fussy cut, I can. If I want to cut the whole thing or use the whole thing. The same with this. I will most likely do some type of cutting on it. This one is just going to be used like this. Oops. And again, these are all Dollar Tree. And this one's so cute. Which, I don't really want the Thanksgiving wish there because I want to do this in my fall one. The theme for my August one, which is what I'm working on, even though it's the end of August, is kind of sunflowers. And look at this. And August is also my birthday month. My birthday was August 24th. Okay, so that is all from Dollar Tree. And then I went to a couple Dollar Generals. This is the second time I've filmed this, so I might be a little confused. Oh, I went to a couple Dollar Generals because I seen a couple people showing um, fall decor that they had picked up. Um, but mine was just putting stuff out. But I did get this. I liked, there's bumblebees, there's watermelon, 
Uh, there's bananas, there's frogs, there's strawberries, and they're just the clay erasers. What else? There's some pineapple in there. I think there's a lion, there's a little bunny. So, I don't know. It was only a buck. Um, they do have a bunch of stuff reduced, home decor type stuff. Um, like $10 regularly, marked down to $6. Um, I picked these flags up. I thought they were, would be cute just as banners so I could take the clear clips off. And then I picked up the foiled stars and unicorns. And then Crafty Girl, who is the one that I was introduced to this new style of junk journaling or new to me with the composition books, showed at Dollar General that she got these. And these are smaller. They are five by seven. And so I wanted to pick these up for like smaller things. Like I might make, you know, they're kind of like, I guess maybe the old time smash books. But anyway, I, the colors don't matter, but I still buy my favorite colors. <laughs> they had red and blue and so I just got, even though they're going to be covered up. So that was it for Do from Dollar General. I didn't get much at all. But then I also, I don't know if I shared this or not in my last video, but I wanted to get these half composition notebooks. And I can't remember who had posted these, but I've seen them on a couple of different channels. And then I found out that I thought you had to order them online. Oh, who's that girl that I watch? Carolina's Crafts, I think, showed them. And, um, it, which wouldn't have been a big deal to order online either, but I didn't, it's going to sound dumb. I didn't want to order online and then have to run to Walmart and pick it up, but I hate paying shipping. So I didn't want to do that. And, I get my scrubs for work at Walmart and I needed to get a new scrub shirt. So I was like, I seen somebody say that they have them in store right now because of back to school. And so I went to my website to the store that I shop at and sure enough, it said that they had them in store. So I was like, yay, I'm going to Walmart. And so I, um, got my scrub shirt and went right to the aisle. It tells you what aisle they're in. And I went right to the aisle where they were. And I was like, Oh, I don't see them. I don't see them. I don't see them. And then somebody had opened a pack. So there was just like one single one. And I'm like, Oh gosh, I hope I am going to get them. And I had to walk down further and I found them. They were actually, I was actually in the wrong aisle. So I had to pull out my phone and look again. <laughs> and um, anyway, you get 10 of these and they're half size. Um, and they're wide ruled, which doesn't matter because you don't know what I'm going to use them for. I don't know what I'm going to use them for. Um, but I didn't want to pass up getting them. Um, and they were for something. So I thought that was really good for 10 of them. Um, anyway, so that is it. One thing at Walmart, a handful at Dollar General. I love Dollar General, by the way. Um, and we have just as many, we have more Dollar Generals in my town than you can shake a stick at. And so one week I'll go to one, one week I'll go to another one. Um, and it's the same with Dollar Tree. I think I've said this before, we have like five or six in my town. And um, I actually work like two blocks from one. So, but, uh, you know, I have my favorites. The one that's closest to me is not the, actually there's two that are super close to me, Dollar Tree wise. They're not really my favorites, but there's, um, the one by my work has the, um, $5 spot or whatever. So I kind of like that. But anyway, that's it for my haul, guys, and I am doing some organizing with my beads today, and then we're going to go see my grandson tonight, so I'm super excited for that. And uh, until my next video, I hope everybody has a great weekend. Bye!